What's going on YouTube? Welcome back to All Things Film. Today we're doing a review for the what? Oh wait, no, wrong show. Let me fix that one. Sorry. There, there we go. Much better. Today we're doing a review for The Walking Dead Season 8 Episode 1. Uh, this was the 100th episode in this series, which is a huge milestone for The Walking Dead. Well, it's a huge milestone for any show, really, because like 100 episodes is a lot, you know, for any show. So, um, I'm here today to give you my thoughts on it. I know I'm a little late. This episode came out a little bit over three weeks ago, and episode five is coming out this Sunday. So, I'm going to get out episodes, my episodes one through four reviews this week. And I'm a huge fan of the show, so I'm caught up in everything. So, I'm probably going to make episode two review like right after this. But anyways, uh, I'm here to give you my thoughts on it, and this is uh, my first review, so I'm kind of excited. So overall, I mean, I really thought it was a good episode. Like, I know a lot of people were upset about that, and because I guess it, it wasn't action-packed and all this and all that. But, like, honestly, if you're watching the show just for the action, don't. I mean, I understand because they, built up, they, they made a hype all summer, but this show isn't really, like... Episodes 2, 3, and 4 are really good action. Better action episode 1, I tell you that. But that's for the later video. This is just episode 1. But I really like what they do with it. And I, and I, and I think I know what they were doing with it. And I think Rick Nicotero uh, directed it. And uh, and I really like what they did. Because it really touched your heart. You know, like all, this, all the callbacks. And, you know, the flash forwards. And the dreams. And all this. Like, it, like th that's the stuff that I live for, honestly. Like, that stuff, like... Cause it made you think like, oh, what's gonna happen in the future? Why is Rick crying in this photo? Why is why is he old here? Like, you know, all that stuff. Like, that's that's what I like about the Walking Dead. And if you read the comics, I'm sure you would. That's what you're gonna like too. Cause I just recently started reading the comics. Like, I was a show person at first. Like, I got introduced to the show, and then uh, I fell in love with the show. So it's like I definitely have to check out the comics. So now that I read the comics, like I'm like, like this show is a like, ten times better for me. So I think people who like who don't like it because it's lack of action, they should definitely go read the comics and then they'll get much more excited. But that's besides the point. Uh, I'm here for my thoughts. And, I, and overall, what I thought it was an, a pretty good episode overall. And um, I, like I said, I really like what they did with the flashbacks. And obviously the first thing here was the old man Rick and all the way in July when the, when the trailer came out and and San Diego Comic Con, like, everyone was like, what the fuck, is this old man Rick? Because if you read the comics, and, oh yeah, I'm gonna give a spoiler warning, but I'm sure everyone has seen this episode by now if you're watching this video. But yeah, just a general spoiler warning for this episode. So yeah, if you read the comics, you know this is old man Rick from the comics after All Out War. So, I'm not gonna say how All Out War ends, because that's not really important. But, right now, it's not. <laughs> but, um, yeah, so that, that's how Rick looks like after all that war so that's why people were like whoa and also this old man rick uh photo is obviously um or not for, like like the scene was also a uh, call back to the first ever scene in the walking dead when rick woke up from the hospital and you saw you saw the flowers and everything was like parallel so yeah like this episode had a lot of callbacks which is really awesome if you're a walking dead fan because like it's so cool to see stuff recreated like like this Carl scene that was all the most obvious but like when he was walking down with the gas tank and looking in the car and looking under the car and uh, you, you even saw the, the baby the girl zombie like all grown up like I think I read this thing on Twitter where they brought back the girl which was like like the actor like the actress yeah they brought her back and I was like wow that was uh, that was like so they did a lot of stuff people didn't notice too like a lot of people didn't notice the Shane call back like when Rick went to the sanctuary um Negan was like so tell me Rick l l no he was like so let me tell you something Rick like that cause that's like uh this guy's right here this this handsome young lad that was his um that was his quote like his saying like let me tell you something Rick let me tell you something Dale let me tell you like you know that, that's what he would say <laughs> so that was a call back to uh to um Sheen I didn't catch that until the first time I watched it I, I read an article on it and I was like damn so I went back and watched it, and I was like, yep, yep. And also, uh, a flashback, or like a callback people didn't really notice was um, when, uh, at the end of the episode, when Gabriel got stuck in the in the trailer with, um, with Negan, the camera shot, it was like above, and you saw all the walkers surrounding the, the trailer. That was literally a callback to the tank in the first episode, at the end of the episode, when when you when the camera zoomed out and you saw all the walkers around the tank like i didn't notice that either for the first time i read an article on it and i was like it really uh had me by shook and also had me by shook does that even make sense anyways um 
what I want to talk about is that there was three Ricks. Actually, I'll get to that later. The three Ricks. So obviously there was Red Eyed Rick, Old Man Rick, and then the the Rick fighting in the battle. And uh, I want to talk about this guy right here. Uh, a lot of people. He hasn't been in any of the other episodes so far uh, uh, this season, but apparently the word is this guy is Sadiq. And uh, if you read the comics, I'm not really a comic pro, but. Uh, I believe Sadiq comes towards the end of All Out War or after All Out War, the new beginning. But I think it's before New Beginning. I think it comes to like towards the end of All Out War. I think he helps Rick actually, I'm not sure. But I think that's what he does. So but anyway, this is a lot earlier in the comics, like regardless, so it was really cool to, to uh show us uh Sadiq. I think it's Sadiq at least. And um so I really like the plan. They did it for the comic, you know, they all went there. Uh, they shot the guns in the air. That was like from the comic, and uh, they brought the walkers, Tara, Carol. Uh, obviously, those people aren't in the comics then. But uh, I, wow, I just I never actually thought about that. Carol, Daryl, Tara, and Morgan. All four of them were not in the comics during All Out War. Maybe that's why they did it, cause like they didn't have a place for them. But yeah, those four they brought the walkers toward the uh, the sanctuary, and uh, uh, they. Uh, the, the walker just flooded the sanctuary, so that's what we haven't seen in a while. But uh, yeah, so like I said, uh, action. It was an action pack. Like it was, it was really cool seeing them fucking destroy the sanctuary. I'll give you that. But when I, the action is not why I love this show. What I love this show is because I'm attached to the characters, the character stories. I kind of like it so. Like a lot of people hated season seven. But I actually liked it. I liked the build-up. You know, obviously some episodes were kind of like... Bottle episodes, those were annoying. Like the Terra and Heath episode. But, I, like, you know, episode... One of my favorite episodes was episode... Uh, uh, was episode 13 of season 7. When, uh, when Morgan ki kills Richard. And then he goes to tell... Uh, when And then he goes to tell uh, Carol, like, the war starting. Or, like, I mean, that Negan killed them. And then they, they all say, okay... Let's, let's join uh, Alexandria and fire. That, that was really like an episode I really liked. And um, but this is I, I'm getting sidetracked. This I love The Walking Dead, so you'll get you'll you'll see me getting sidetracked a lot because I I I can talk about this show for hours. Anyways, so yeah, so like I said, they um they uh they all went to the sanctuary. They shut down the windows. They all got trapped inside. Negan was actually outside. And Rick was trying to kill him, and Father Gabriel said, "This isn't about you. This is about me." Or no, no, when I say me, this is about. This isn't about you. It's about us. And um. And I think that really like made Rick think. So he's like, "You're right." And I think that's maybe gonna later on determine what his fate is with me. But uh, again, I'm not gonna get sidetracked. But yeah, so that's when he took the photo, which is really cool. Uh, I saw this photo on online. It was like it showed the photo of Negan and it said Negan at the bottom. So I don't know what they're gonna do with that. It's really interesting. But um, so yeah. So after that, they left. Uh, fucking Gregory Bitchery, freaking left Negan or freaking left uh, um, Gabriel the, and the Walkers. And I was like, what? The, what a dick move. So I don't know. If you read the comics, you know what happens to Gregory, and hopefully that's gonna happen. Gregory's actually like a total. I actually like Negan more than Gregory. And that's because Gregory's Negan's actually funny. Like Negan killed Glenn, and I can never forgive him for that. But honestly, Gregory's just like straight up annoying. I don't, he's not even funny. <laughs> but uh, so uh, yeah, sorry. This isn't a Gregory hate show, but I really don't like Gregory. So yeah, like I said, overall it was a really good episode. And uh, back to this. Red eyed Rick. So I think this is a dream. Oh, when well, we saw baby Judas or like grown up Judas, like that was that was like a really touching scene. Which is like, I was like, wow, like, this is so cool to see like Rick, like, like after a war and all peaceful and to see his daughter growing up or Shane's daughter. Oh, uh, yeah, I'm just kidding. But <laughs> it was really cool to see uh, all this stuff. And I know there's speculations out there. and and theories and this and that like um that this isn't Judith uh, if you watch uh episode two and three you know there's another baby there but I'm not gonna get to that I'm gonna get to that in my other video but yeah so uh but in the credits it, it said baby Judith or six year old Judith or something like that I forgot but yeah so uh, I'm just gonna assume this Judith right now for another video pretend I made this video uh like three weeks ago <laughs> so yeah uh so 
So that was a really touching moment. I really liked it. And and uh, Michelle talked about a parade, a festival. And if you read the comics, you know what that means. Anyways, uh, so Red Eye Rick. So here's my theory on Red Eye Rick. So this is a different Rick. Rick Rick. This is a different Rick. Um, I think someone's big in a die this season, and um, I think this is why he's crying. And he says. May my mercy prevail over my wrath. And that's what Sadiq told Carl, I think. And I remember Rick said, like, he heard from it or something. So when he said that, the first thing I thought was, like, oh, yep, he's gonna, he's gonna have mercy on, he's gonna have mercy on Negan. And, um, uh, so that's, like, stuff like that was so cool to me. Like, that's better than action. Because it makes you think, like, whoa, what's gonna happen in a couple episodes? What's gonna happen in the season finale? Like, Stuff like that was like really cool, and I really liked. Like that was like one of my favorite moments when he said that, because I'm like, wow, they already have this whole thing planned out, and they're already like showing signs of it. And I and I know a lot of people are gonna get upset if Negan survives, but like honestly, j- being in prison is worse than death. Like death is the easy way out. Like goodbye. Like, but like being in prison is like just suffering in there, you know. And, and people get upset because they they uh. They uh, didn't kill Negan in the comic, so, but, I mean, it's worse getting, like, I'd rather, I mean, honestly, I think most people would rather die than be a lifetime in jail, and, like, sorry, sorry, my, my mic cut off for some reason, but, yeah, like I said, a lot of people will think, uh, people, uh, I think being in prison is a lot worse than, uh, dying, and especially in this world, because you, you can't just, there's, there's no guard. This is his choice. This is Rick's choice. Like I'm gonna put you in here forever. You're not even gonna step. You're not even gonna step outside. Cause I'm pretty sure in like real jail, I think you can go outside. Like you can do stuff. Like play basketball or walk around and do work and even to get the sun. But like here, you're just stuck in this jail forever. So I think that's a lot worse than death. But uh, so yeah. Um. So I think something. I think something bad's gonna happen to Rick here. Or not to Rick. Someone big is gonna die, and I'm really scared. Because I can't handle another death. <sighs> but yeah, it is what it is. So uh, yeah, that's my review for it. I thought it was a pretty solid episode. Um, uh, for the hundred episode, I think they did a great job because they were going for the callbacks and the and the like in the comics to this and that. And it was really, I think they executed really well. I was really happy. I rewatched the episode.